Okay, so let's take a look on uh, some of this Logger Pro stuff. What I'm going to do is put some data in, kind of go through a uh, way to get the end result that we're looking for. So the, the data set, we want to go ahead and uh, do our x-axis, so we'll double click there on the x and uh, type in time because that's going to go on the x-axis. The short name will still be time. The short name is going to end up going where the x is and uh, the time of course is going to be in seconds. And Notice that it puts time here and then it also puts time down here on your x-axis. Let's do the same thing for your y. Double click on the y. This is the displacement and this is total displacement. Uh, so we're going to put uh, the short name. I'm just going to put D. That's, the, that's what's going to go in place with the Y. And then the units are going to be meters. And so you can see that it puts displacement, the name here, but it puts D in the data set. So let's go ahead and add our numbers. Uh, so I've got zero dis uh, time and zero displacement. 0 0.1 seconds. 0 0.054 meters, 0 0.2 seconds, 0 0.193 meters, 0 0.3 seconds, 0 0.2427 uh, meters, 0 0.4 seconds, we get uh, 0 0.793 meters, and 0 0.5 seconds, we get 1.5 two to four meters. Uh oh, did something wrong there. Let me back that up. 0 0.5 tab or if you can just do the mouse click on there. 1.224. So now you can see that the the graph is all way down here. So what you want to do is come up here to your auto scale and auto scale it. That's the A. And now you can see that it turns into this nice full graph. Well let's kind of clean this up a little bit. I want to come over here and see I've got this point right there right on that line. I don't like that. So I'm going to click, come down here and click at the end of the scale and just add another uh, time element. So I'm going to go 0.6 on there. And it's just going to move the uh, graph over a little bit. Uh, do the same thing up here at the top. So I'll click near the 1. And you can see that that uh, turns into the 1 at the very top up there. So I'm going to go one point four possibly. Doesn't really matter. Hit enter. And now you can see that it's nicely then scaled. Uh, I also now want to put my uh, fix my graph so I'm going to right click on the graph and it gives me graph options. I'll place the title here as displacement versus time. I also come along here. I want to have my point symbols or point protectors checked. I want to have my point or connecting the points off. Uh, I've got X and Y error bars. That's fine. I think that's by default. And once I have those, then I can click done. And you can see that I now have a title. Uh, my data points are easily seen. What I want to do now is get the equation of the line. So I will select all of my data points. I can do that by selecting from the data table. That's the easiest thing to do. And since this is a quadratic looking shape, it's a parabola, uh, I'm going to come up here and click on the curve fit and choose the quadratic. Now there's many to choose from, but the quadratic is the one that I want. So I'll click the button, try the fit. And when I try the fit, you can see that it's a very nice fit. What I'm looking for here is a, the equation of the line, simply a or uh, y is equal to ax squared. I'm not interested in bx or c. So y is equal to ax squared. I'm going to click A, OK. Now I'm going to click and drag this guy and just bring him out, out of the way so it looks a little bit neater. Now, the, the number that I'm looking for here, hopefully, is somewhere around 4.9 because that's one half of the acceleration due to gravity. So this is pretty close. And so that tells me that I've got some good data. Just remember the things we talked about in class. All right, so now I want to do my next graph, which is the velocity versus time graph. And the velocity versus time graph will be, I need to have a velocity column in here. So what I can do is 
I'll come to data at the very top up there, this uh, toolbar, and this is the data toolbar. I can do this one of two ways. I can already uh, put my manual column in there. I can uh, by having already calculated those data points, or I can do it with uh, the help of Logger Pro, which is what I'm going to do. And so I'm going to click the calculated column, and that's going to be velocity. So I'll put that new column as being velocity. The short name is going to be V, and then the units, meters per second. Now, here's where the expression comes in. This is a change, so it's going to be the change between this displacement and that displacement divided by the change in time. Change of th uh, 0.193 minus 0 0.054. That's how much it changed in this amount of time. And we do that for each segment, each interval. So that's going to be delta. So it's change. That's what delta is, and that's what this recognizes. So I'm going to type in here where the expression, at the expression, see right there, it says expression. I'm going to type in delta, open parentheses, and then I'm going to come over here to my columns, my variables, and it's going to be my displacement column. Put that in there, click that, close the parentheses. And I want to divide that because velocity is displacement divided by time. It's the change in the displacement over change in time. So I'll put a slash to represent the, uh, the divide and delta again, which is change. And now I want the delta time. Close parentheses. Now watch when I hit done. Watch over here in the data set. Uh-oh. I've mismatched somewhere. Ah, I don't have a, an open parentheses. See? It told me. No open parentheses. There we go. Now, watch over here. And it puts in that column for you. If you hit Control-R, it will then rescale, uh, rearrange uh, the entire uh, window for you. Okay? So there's your velocity graph. Okay? Now, what you want to do is have another page. So I want to add a page here. Go to Page. Add a page. And I want to copy the page that I'm on. Copy that. And now I've got two pages. Page 1 is here, and page 2 looks identical. Well, this is going to be my velocity versus time graph. So come over here on page 2 and uh, exit out of your best fit line. Come over here to the displacement. Left click on that just once. and you can click velocity. And now you have a velocity versus time graph. It doesn't look very good because you only have two points. Once again, come to auto scale, and now you've got your nice graph. We need to replace the title, so you can double click up here, or you can right click graph options. And this is velocity versus time. Velocity versus time. Point symbols, connect the points are off, and there we go. Velocity versus time. Once again, you can extend this out. So let's go to 0 0.6, hit enter, and up here, let's go to, that's 4.04, .04, so let's go to 5 and see what happens there. So it just looks a little bit better. Okay? So now what we want to do is get the slope of this line. The slope of this line represents the acceleration. So I'm going to take, collect all this data again with the data table and notice how it shades everything in. And, and I can come here to the curve fit and do a linear fit that does a linear fit or I can come here and do the same thing. That's exactly what that does. That's just a one button. And so I'll do a linear fit and pull this guy out of the way. And look at that. That's very nice data because the slope of this line should equal the acceleration. Change in the velocity divided by the change in time. And the slope, you can see right here, is 9.810. Not really worried about the one zero meters per second per second, all right? 
So that's the acceleration. Very good. So now we want to add another graph. Another graph here. Uh, so we're going to add another page. So we'll come here, page, add a page, copy this page. And we have now three pages. We can come up here and flip between the pages by going back and forth this way, or you can use the drop down box. This is, just get, go ahead and get rid of our linear graph, our linear fit. Don't need that. But we need another data table, or another data column, and that's going to be distance squared. So, uh, sorry, not distance squared, I'm sorry, time squared. So let's come here to data, down to calculated column. This is going to be time, and then you can use, uh, if you've got 3.8.6.1, the version of Logger Pro, you'll have this, and you can have a pull-down box, superscript, and it puts a little square there if you have that. If you don't have that, then you can use the caret button above the 6 squared or 2. And get rid of the CC, time, squared, and of course those units are going to be in seconds squared. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and take this and square our time. So we're going to take time, we're going to go to the func the variables time, click that, and then uh, the caret button and the two. So that's going to tell it that you're going to square the time column. And that's what it does. And so now it puts that in there and all these times from your original time are now squared. Okay. So now we want to plot displacement versus time squared. So I'm going to come here. And I'm going to, uh, on the Y column, I'm going to click that with my left click. Displacement. Okay? So that's going to be displacement. Down on the bottom here, I want time squared. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the Y and come down here to my time and choose time squared. And what that's going to do is that's going to straighten out our displacement versus time graph. And so I'm going to now auto scale this again. I'm going to come here, change my name to displacement versus time squared. And that puts it there. Same thing here with my graph. I want to make that a little bit wider, so I'm going to go 0 0.30, and it moves it over a little bit. Uh, I think my, my top is okay. But notice how this is now a straight line. Let's get the slope of this whole straight line. So you can click and drag your data, just like that. We want to get a best fit line, so we have our best fit line right there. Okay, and that's going to be meters per second squared, as you can see right there. So now, if you go back, you can cycle through all of your graphs. Page 1, page 2, and page 3. Now, if you want to really make it fancy, if you want to uh, change the page names, right, uh, you can come up here to the page and page options and just give this a title. So this is your displacement. Displacement. And so now that's displacement. Come to page two, page, page options. This is velocity. C-I-T-Y. And page three, yeah, I call that time squared. Page 3, Options, Time Squared. So there. So now you can cycle through these and know kind of what you're looking at without even looking at these other things. Okay? And that's it. Uh, that's your really your first lesson here. Uh, you can, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll advance through this 
as we go along, but uh, this is just what I wanted you to uh, be able to do. All right, so that's the end of that. I expect these to be very, very good graphs. Goodbye.